that change from the norm. And of course, with you Saturday and Sunday here at BBC Radio Suffolk, and time to go back to the centre of Bury St Edmunds because it is going to be absolutely heaving over the next few days. The annual Bury Christmas Fair gets underway later on this afternoon. Deals on Wheels is there for us right now, giving us a flavour on uh, how they're getting ready for what's promising to be a uh, splendid few days. Hello, Luke. Yes, it's going to be a very busy weekend here in Bury St Edmunds. The Christmas Fair gets underway at four o'clock this afternoon and uh, there are lots of cars here in the Abbey Gardens. The stall holders set up their stalls. We'll talk to a couple of them in just a moment, but with me is the Mayor of St Edmundsbury. That's Robert Everett. And this is a very popular weekend for the town, isn't it? Indeed it is, Mark, uh, Luke. It's one of those weekends that uh, we look forward to every year. We have 100, over 100,000 people come through the town um, and uh, it's just great fun. What's fun about it then? What's fun about it? We have entertainment on uh, on two venues at the Apex and on the Angel Hill. We have 300 stalls. We've got Father Christmas. He's bringing Rudolph and I think Prancer this year as well. So you can go and see Rudolph and uh, the reindeers. Um, you can post your letter to Father Christmas and be sure of a reply. That's a note to parents. Take them down to the Abbey Gardens to post a letter. Um, so there's all sorts of things to be going on through the town. But he's got stiff competition this year, isn't he, from the cast of Frozen that are going to be here? He has, and I understand that you enjoy listening to their music. <laughs> perhaps, perhaps we could arrange a, a record for you after the um, uh, announcement. Yeah, I'll let it go, Robert. Uh, let's bring in uh, Chris Collins, shall we? He's from Elmswell because you're here with the uh, Pie and Mash stall, aren't you? And Carvery. And uh, this is your second year, isn't it? That is, yes. We had a great response last year from um, the sort of general public and said how good it was and hope they come back for another one this year. So what's on the menu then for tonight? We've got a selection of pies, um, vegetarian as well as um, um, minced beef and onion, chicken and mushroom and carvery. We've got pork, beef, turkey and gammon. Oh, you're making me hungry and it's lunchtime, aren't you? I mean, how busy were you last year? Because this is essentially a fair where people can come out and try food, but also you can get Christmas gifts and various other things here. Oh, yeah, it was extremely busy last year from the Thursday at four o'clock when it opened all the way through to the Sunday evening. OK, Chris, we'll let you go and uh, good luck this weekend. Also, I've got Aaron and Thomas here. They're the time meddlers because not only have you got the cast of, uh, well, you've got Princess Elsa and Olaf from Frozen here this weekend, but you also have a TARDIS, a canine, Davros, a Dalek, and a couple of other Doctor Who memorabilia, because Aaron, you're very passionate as Doctor Who. Aaron's dressed up as one of the Doctors here. Tell me about this weekend and why it's so important for you, because it's your first weekend here at the Christmas Fair. Yeah, uh, it's our first weekend here, uh, and we're uh, raising money for St Peter's Care Home um, up at the West Suffolk College. Um, we're going to be dressed up as different doctors. Uh, on Saturday and Sunday, we're going to have a photo shoot, uh, which is £10. Five of that goes to the charity, and then five of that will then be to send them out and have them printed out. So, yeah, uh, it's we're really looking forward to it. It's going to be a good thing to have going. Uh, me and my mate Tom, who owns the merchandise, uh, you know, we've been set up, setting up. So, yeah, really looking forward to it. So tell me, Thomas, what you've got inside your marquee then that's just behind us. I've seen the TARDIS. You can't miss that. What else have you got then when it comes to memorabilia? We've got plenty of monsters. So there'll be Daleks going around. And if you're hungry, we even have a cake stall. So you can buy Doctor Who cakes. So where's all the Doctor Who memorabilia come from? Is it your own? Yeah, it's all my own. I keep it in my garage. I spend too much time on eBay. <laughs> How much have you got then? Uh, and what sort of things are you going to be having on display? We've got full-size Daleks. We've got a TARDIS, obviously. Canine. Ice Warriors. Ood. Weeping Angels. So, You're uh, dressed up as Sylvester McCoy. Aaron, who are you going to be dressed up as? Uh, I'm going to be Colin Baker today, and then Saturday I'm doing Matt Smith, and Sunday I'm doing Peter Capaldi. So. No long scarf then? No long scarf, although it is on the hat stand, and that will be available for the photo shoots. OK, boys, thank you very much indeed. I'll let you go back to setting up. The Christmas Fair gets underway 4 o'clock this afternoon. It runs throughout the entire weekend, closes on Sunday night at 5pm, and the sun is starting to shine here in the Abbey Gardens. Lovely. I mean, it's 